Welcome to Fate Fridays from A Steadfast Fate. This is episode 20 and part 4 of our mini-series on faith in Christ. And this week we'll be in Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 17. Colossians 1, 15 to 17. Colossians 1, 15 says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created. In heaven and on earth, visible and Invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Now the question we're going to ask is, who is the he? Paul here is describing this one who is the image or the express imprint or of the exact same nature as the invisible God, talking about God the Father. So who's this one? Well, Paul is defending, as we see here, the preeminence of Christ, that Christ is God. Paul is picking up the same theme that John the Apostle has given us in John chapter 1. Paul is defending Christ is God. Not only that, but he does it from the as same aspect as John, that Christ is creator. This is very important. If Christ has not created all things, then does he have the power to save us from the sin which we've put ourselves in? But Christ is creator not only that, but Paul goes one step further than John and says, not only is he creator, all things were created by him because he is God, the Im image of the invisible God, that is Christ, Emmanuel, God with us, came, was incarnate, so we may know God, created everything and not only that but verse 17 he is before all things and in him all things hold together not only is christ creator but he's sustainer as well if he doesn't sustain us if he doesn't sustain the entire world then it will literally fly apart how do protons and neutrons and everything inside an atom just fly apart because of the hand of god jesus christ you see, if Christ is not God and not our creator, then he is not powerful enough to save. Then he is not the Lamb of God who has come into the world, the image of God, the one who shows us the Father. If he is not that, then he is incapable of satisfying the infinite God who has been wronged by our sin. But Jesus Christ, he is our creator. I hope this is helpful and helps you as you defend the faith, as you understand what it is we believe, as other people will come and say, no, Christ is a God, or Christ is just a good man. No, Christ is God. Christ is creator. I hope this helps you this week, and continue to follow us on Facebook and our website and see as we move forward to church planning in Cache County. Have a good week.